The second quarter was a pretty good quarter. The market was up about 2.9%, which is not bad. Uh, the first half of the quarter was wonderful, I mean, just ripped. Second half of the quarter was kind of bumpy after the Fed announcement that they were going to go and taper quantitative easing, QE. Um, now, this uh, tapering is uh, kind of confusing and very, very important for the market. So, so what is it really? Well, the way to think about it is that think about the U.S. GDP growth as a car going up a hill. And so when you're going up a hill, the Fed needed to go and uh, push on the gas pedal in order to keep the car going. But now what the Fed sees is that we're getting to the top of the hill and it's able to go and take its foot off the accelerator. Uh, it's not putting its foot on the brakes. And so this is really, really good and it's really important. It's good because there are uh, distortions that are introduced into the economy when the Fed goes and artificially holds rates down. Uh, the biggest one is that savers have a disincentive to save because when there's no rates there, people have to go, you know, they just, they'd rather spend than save. Um, and it's, it's really, uh, important because the biggest fundamental variable in the stock market and in all financial markets is long interest rates in the United States. And so the Fed going and letting them go back to normal is just very healthy for the U.S. economy over time. The appreciation portfolio had a pretty good quarter uh, in the second quarter. It was kind of quiet. It was pretty much in line with the market. Um, and that's kind of how you'd expect us to do when the market's up a normal amount, you know, just about 3% is a pretty average amount for the market to be up in a quarter. We usually are in line. Uh, the appreciation is a very defensive strategy when the market goes down an awful lot. And so if the market goes down, you know, like it did in 2008, we're going to protect you a lot. The portfolio behaved very much in line with the market, which is kind of what you expect from the appreciation portfolio in a quarter where returns are pretty close to normal. So, you know, we're helped a little bit in the material sector um, because we own chemical stocks and we didn't own the metal stocks, which did poorly. We helped in, were helped in the utility sector because we own, uh, you know, a company that was growing and we're kind of underweight the sector. But, but all in all, there really wasn't much impact. We, we were pretty close to the market. Um, the, the thing that's important, though, about the appreciation portfolio is that we are a very defensive portfolio. And so when the market really craps out, uh, we're going to protect you. In a year when the market really goes up an awful lot, we'll lag a little bit. In a normal year, we should be in line. And over the uh, market cycle, we're going to outperform for you and do it with less risk. Going forward, we're reasonably enthusiastic on the stock market. We're looking for a pretty normal uh, market increase, uh, not the soaring that we saw in the first half of the year. But, you know, we're pretty enthusiastic on the health of the U.S. economy. It looks like we've got a bunch of sectors that are kicking pretty well. Uh, you know, the Fed policy change is a positive for the market going forward. Um, we see individual groups that are pretty interesting. We really like the big cap pharmaceutical stocks. We're almost like kids in a candy store on those stocks. There's so many names that are interesting. We're seeing in that group a nice acceleration in earnings, and valuations are really modest. And they're really, as a group, are terrific quality companies. We're also interested in the life insurance stocks. There, they're big beneficiaries from the Fed raising rates or letting rates on the long end rise uh, because their annuity books were hurt uh, by low rates and, and higher rates are a big positive for them. We think we're in a good time for the market and a good time for appreciation as a portfolio. If the market keeps on rising, we'll keep on participating. If the market you know, takes a hit, as maybe it's vulnerable to doing because it's gone up so much, then appreciation is going to go and save you an awful lot of money.